lot of people don't understand animals and how much they can give to your lives and they don't allow themselves to understand and so they set restrictions and they they live in little boxes and so uh, some people just kind of don't come around and I really don't care that they don't come around because obviously they're not cat people. It is a non-kill facility I don't have to deal with um, the trauma of watching animals be killed so when we do take an animal in, we know that it's either going to be here for its lifetime or it's going to, to be adopted, hopefully. Um, it's not going to be put down unless it has some horrible disease that causes it great pain. So that's why I, don't, I cannot work somewhere where they kill perfectly healthy animals. I just simply emotionally could not deal with that. Volunteers roast four turkeys for Thanksgiving, they're donated usually, and four for um, Christmas. We cut them up in little bitsy pieces and um, feed them turkey dinner for breakfast. And I'd say 99% like it. The others would rather have the dry food. They get anything they want. They live good. I particularly like cats. I don't really know why, but uh, ever since I was uh, very, very young, cats just appeal to me more. I just like the, the shape and the feel and the sound of a, of a cat. And um, so I, in the early pictures taken of me, you can always tell which one is me. I'm the one holding the cat. And I've uh, had it any time, anywhere from uh, half a dozen to one time 26 cats. I will never do that again. That was entirely too much work. Currently I have 10, and even that's a great deal of work. I'm just a cat lover. I have 16 cats of my own at home, and 13 are white. And I think what it just does my heart good is to see an old bedraggled stray come in full of fleas, undernourished, and in a month after a good bath and all the fleas are gone, um, we have a healthy cat and then it gets a loving home and I think that makes it all this hard work worthwhile. And it is hard work here, let me tell you. <laughs> a lot of cleaning. It's janitorial work, <laughs> that's what it is. I come home depressed sometimes because I have to say no to so many animals, but um, it is also very gratifying to know you have saved these animals. It, it really makes a difference in your life. And of course they capture your hearts and they, they lay claim to all the love you can give them. <laughs> Rescuing an animal and then finding, taking good care of it, bringing it back to health, spaying or neutering it, and then finding it a good home. It's a very satisfying job. I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer and um, survived it. And I decided I was gonna do with my life what I wanted to do, and that was rescue animals. And um, so I came to work as a volunteer here for Viva. And um, I'm a much healthier person because I've started working with the animals. Once you start rescuing animals and you start finding them in all sorts of horrible circumstances and you, you make a better life for them, they capture your heart and uh, you want to keep them close to you. And that's basically what we do. Yes, that's what we do. We 
we vaccinate all the cats for distemper and upper respiratory when they come in and they need a series of two shots. And this is the first that this kitten is getting. It's just a new arrival. And that's for your that's for your killer um, distemper and the upper respiratories. There's 33 other different viruses that cats can get, but these are the most deadly ones, and these are the ones we need to vaccinate for. Our junior program, I feel, is really valuable. If they're compassionate and they care about animals, they're going to carry that message. They're going to carry it to their homes. They're going to even educate their parents. During the summertime, the juniors are wonderful. They practically take over the running of the shelter and can do it with one adult supervisor. Do this. Yeah. And we want you to make a commitment to keep it for its whole life, which okay. might be 20 years. Well, that's fine with us. Out in the village, ours seem to, we, we have them for about five or six years, and then they seem to either get hit or something. So yeah. I prefer to keep them. In it's the actually, you're better off because you don't have, you know, work with, you know, you don't have flea problems when you keep them yeah. in because when they go in and out, you know, during Southern California, it's always a problem with fleas. But he's a real loving little guy. And you say he's about five months old? About five months, uh huh. Which one do you like? <laughs> this one. Oh, okay. He looks too much hey, like blue. Okay, I take both of them. <laughs> yeah. These did just come in from a lady who had, um, she had nine cats and she'd lost her home and she had five uh, kittens of the five month old ones. So we did just bring them in and they do have some ear mites and we started treating them yesterday. So you would have to continue treating the ear mites. But they are adoptable too. Oh me. yes, uh huh. Take them home to mm -hmm. me. That are nice, nice and gentle. Gentle. There you go. That's it. I was always sympathetic toward animals, but I would have been afraid to pick up an animal that needed help because I wouldn't have known what to do with it. I wouldn't have thought I could find a home for it. Joining Viva and joining a group, I found that, yes, we can find homes for animals, and yes, we can make changes. It's changed my life to the point now where, I mean, I will give up practically anything just to work here and to help the animals.